haces? Mauel, ¿qué me...? Good boy. Hi everyone, it's Claire back again. So we went to the vets today, it's Friday, and both the vet and the physio said that there have been definite improvements with Marwin, but not enough for him to do the hydrotherapy yet. So um, I'm taking him back on Monday. He's going to see the canine physio, the, because the physio that saw him today just does the hydrotherapy, and he's going to get a full assessment on Monday and then he's going to spend the whole day at the vets on Tuesday using all the equipment and everything um, and we're, we'll, we're going to get like a proper program of physio for him I'm able to get him to stand up, free stand, for about 10 seconds before he gets wobbly it's been a, a week of just me getting into a kind of robotic um, routine with him about when he eats when he has his, when he has his medication um and it's been bad days and good days yesterday was a bad day because he's not drinking water he's just he's he's just not drinking water so i've been giving him water through this tiny syringe that he's having his medication through which was driving him crazy yesterday he really hated that um so he spent most of the day sulking yesterday Um, today the vet gave me a syringe that's a bit bigger so I'm going to be able to give him water through the syringe which makes me feel a bit better I think I was just panicking and getting myself really worked up that he wasn't taking water um, so I'm going to be able to help with that today um, so yeah it's just hopefully rest um, carry on what, with what I'm doing with the weight bearing training and we'll see how he gets on over the next few weeks it's frustrating because I think I think maybe I'm expecting to see improvements quicker than they're coming and it feels like I just want somebody to say to me he will walk again maybe you won't have the same kind of mobility but he'll be able to go to the toilet he'll be able to walk and it will take this amount of time this amount of weeks or this amount of months and it just we can, nobody can tell me that right now nobody can tell me that um, I know that the figures are really good for recovering from this type of condition if this is the condition that he's got that's this, this, they've narrowed it down based on the x-rays because like an MRI scan would be like £1,200 um, and the vet that I saw today just said she didn't think it was worth it just we need to presume that he's got this FCE and um and just continue with with the physio so it's just it's frustrating it's still a waiting game there are small improvements um i'm helping him where i can as much as i can um he's kind of he's, he's kind of doing okay he's doing okay fingers crossed um so that's the update for this week the the other thing that happened when i came back from the vets was this parcel had arrived for marwin So this is from Catherine and thank you so much Catherine I just cried when I opened this box um, it's yeah so Marwin's got oh, not nail mail pet mail um, and I thought we could have a look at his reaction to see what he thinks of what's inside the box so this is the box that came from uh, Catherine today this is the card that came with it get well soon Marwin love cat and inside we've got all of these goodies here Marwin's tired at the moment because he's been he's been to the vets today and it's tired him out um, just being in the car tired him out so 
he may or may not respond. Um, let's see. So let's see what's inside here. We've got some crispy pork bites. Try one. Want to try one? Come on, then. What's this? What's this? Good boy. Good boy. Ooh. What's that? Want to try that? Maybe later. Okay, and. Oh, oh, this. Maybe you can have a little chew on this. Look at this. This is a fantastic rope toy that we can play with. <laughs> He's not too sure what to make of the treats. And, wow, well, okay, we have some doggy popcorn, which is from the Barking Bakery. And it's, I think it's cheese flavour. So he's eating his pork, he just didn't want anyone to see it. <laughs> pork bites. So. Come on in. What's this? What's this? Good boy. Cheesy popcorn. Ooh. What next, Mom? What next? Okay, this is amazing. So, another Barking Bakery trio of mini iced woofins. <laughs> they look amazing. I think I'll probably save that till later. I think that might be a little bit too much for him now. These are. Baked treats, again from Lily's Kitchen. So this is Rise and Shines, beef liver and fresh carrots baked treats. Marwin, do you want to try a treat? Ooh, what do you think? What do you think? Yeah? Oh no. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's going to be saved for later, I think. Now this, I think he's going to love. This is Scottish Venison Chewies from Alfie and Molly's. So I'll give that one of these to him last. And he's also got a ball here. Look, Marwin. Look at these. Yeah. It's a new ball for you. And... Ooh. Two natural snack bars. These look all very healthy. I'm going to keep that to one side for later. And oh, this is huge. Oh, Alfie and Molly's handmade dog treats. This is fantastic. And this is bell pe chicken, bell pepper, and sweet potato. Again, I think I'll save those for later. This is brilliant because he's just not eating his usual treats at the moment. Here's some chews. Um, so different types of rawhide chews. Yes, he loves these types of chews. He, li he usually he likes the ones with the chicken strips around them. And this one is... Uh, oh, poop bag. <laughs> Excellent. Always comes in handy. <laughs> Brilliant. So hopefully we'll be able to use these very soon once he gets back into his normal routine. At the moment, I'm just kind of cleaning up after him, really. Um, but these come in very, very handy. And that is it. So that's a huge box of treats for Marwin, which is incredible. Okay, and here is the venison chew. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, so what he'll do is he'll take that back to his bed. <laughs> yeah. Mm. 
Yes, he's gonna he's gonna be chewing on that for quite a while. This this is gonna keep him occupied for a while. Catherine, thank you so much. This is amazing, and it just really helps out over the weekend, having some extra little treats um, and things to keep Marwin occupied. You like that?